Welcome back to my channel, guys. So good to see you. Just got out of my beautiful bedroom. Oh my God. <laughs> no, and I'm not pregnant with other children because the bedroom is beautiful, no. That's not happening, but I'm spending a lot more time in the bathroom. Guys, I just know I'm happy. I'm a happy girl. But I also saw some of your comments asking me about Blake and Bianca's rooms. Guys, can't you just be satisfied with just a few spaces that I show you? You want even to add more? Good, because even me, I want it. <laughs> so, drum rolls, please. We have done Blake and Bianca's rooms. Can I hear an amen from Blake and Bianca? <laughs> We've done their rooms up, and I use the services of Slip Avenue. Now, this two beautiful beautiful girls i think they are the gurus of interior design for children's rooms now they do a lot more but i remember when they came into the house they were just like give us the kids rooms give us the kids room so we can show you gardens how to decorate to style their children's bedrooms because even me when i even some, some of the videos i see of children's bedrooms i'm just like but why why would you do this to a child why anywho um i want to invite them over natasha and joanne Come on in. <laughs> they are not shy. She's not shy. Not at all. <laughs> so I'm shy. Love. So good to see you. You guys so are good for us. What you guys yeah. have done. Mm -hmm. Again, with my very tiny budget, mm -hmm. uh, these girls have done amazing stuff in Blake and Bianca's room. You guys will hear a reaction video from Blake and Bianca yeah. when they enter their room. So just wait for it. But before we do that, mm -hmm. yes. let's start with Joanne. Yes. Joanne is the, uh, let me say, she's the uh, the builder. Let's say the builder. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. She's the, she's the, she's, she's more, she leans towards the more technical side of interior design. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Technical, yes, because <laughs> things have been science. Like, I didn't know that the distance between the door and the desk, and when they sit like this, facing over a window, well, not the wall, they, their concentration is I thought a percent lower. Uh, the bedroom, the bed has to face this. I was just like, Joan, I'm sorry, I beg your pardon, what? And so when they were doing the designs, all of that was in play, that was going on in her mind. Mm -hmm. Talk to us. When you're doing up a child's room, or when you were doing Blake or Bianca's room, what were some of the technical aspects <coughs> that you were looking at when you were designing them? Um, firstly, obviously, we first looked at the size of the space. Yeah the size of the beds, furniture, what you had currently, yeah. what you could reduce, eliminate, or probably add. Yeah. So how they were arranged when someone's walking into the room, you know how kids have, they walk carelessly, not intentionally, it's just yeah. a child. They're just so children. we had to make sure we organize the furniture in a way that it works for them without them kicking, hurting their legs, or yeah. falling over. Yeah. So those are a few items to look at, and how the lighting of the space is. Yeah. Thankfully, the window's actually wide. So yeah. that actually helped us <laughs> actually realize where we can place a few items like mirrors, yeah, their desks, yeah, beds, yeah, yeah. That's just the gist of it. So now you come into Blake and Bianca's room. Yes. What are some of the problems that you found? Okay, firstly, you, the client, uh, told us that their beds were still kiddish at yeah. the time, and you wanted them to kind of get into that maturity level. Yeah. They're teenagers, or maybe they're getting into the pre teens, yeah. grown up, what? Yeah. So that was one challenge. And then 
where you placed, okay, where the blades were placed. At that time, At yes. that time, the furniture was bulky. There were a few items that needed to be eliminated. Some of them were not theirs, so those are just a few challenges. Yeah, Blake and Bianca's room. Mm. When you were thinking through how, and we've talked about this before, how to beautify the space, mm. the best thing that happened to both you and I mm -hmm. was that I didn't want the space to be decorated like people usually do. Yes. yes. That and you were so excited. But that's what like, one the same thing. Well, and that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You were so scared yeah. that yeah. I might be those clients who want those old tiny butterflies. I, was, I don't know if you've seen the them. Uh, yes. Those stickers on the, the walls. Stickers. Those, uh -huh. mm -hmm. And so you were quite happy to come in and find me who was saying exactly what you wanted. Mm -hmm. So talk yeah. about yeah. that. Let me tell you, <laughs> Let me tell you Manuela. You are our target client. You are yeah. our yeah. sort of client. Mm. How? We want the trailblazers. People yeah. who are trying different things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People who are trying the different trends of interior design. Yeah. Not just stuck up on something that has been there because they put stickers and how that's how we beautify spaces. Yeah. You defied that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you wanted to. Let me be wild. I have this color palette. I have this thing, but. I don't know how to make it work. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, just like you've said that uh, we went with the black and white um, whole situation with Bianca, and then we went with the pop of color with the uh, Blake. Blake, yeah. But keeping all the colors that in mind, yeah, in mind that was given to us in mind. Yeah. Why? We're also looking at personality. So should we start with Bianca or Blake? Blake, Bianca, Bianca, Blake. Ladies first! So yeah, let's go in and see Bianca's room. Okay. Over Along to our girls. <laughs> Kali. Uh, so moving over to the beds. Mm -hmm. uh, we upholstered the bed. We tried to do something that would fit. We also had to observe the black and white. Theme. And we also did the wall hangings, the mouth colored wall hangings, because we had the toughest um, green and uh, the pink, black and white color palette. Then this has a mouth color, which just brought the whole fusion together. And then the gold uh, ferns, because Bianca is into gold, she loves gold. Yes. So we had to throw in some gold there. Yeah. Close it. Uh, so here we added a shurak yeah. for their shoes. They didn't have where to put their shoes and that was a very big problem for them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we added this for them which really improved how they organized their space. It's easy for them to pick their shoes and also we had to mind the height yeah. at which we put everything because they're kids, they're not that tall. So we put it at a level where they can access their shoes and also organize all their clothes down here. Just like you guys know, Manuela and her organization, things are, in co are color coordinated here. <laughs> Yeah, so this oh. is how this is to add on to this. Mm. We made sure that we designed it in a simple way that the client can be able to actually move this whole piece. As you can yeah. see, it looks like it was just fitted in. Yeah, but it can yeah. be moved. So she can move it from this space to a yeah. different space if she wanted. Yes. Or if she's changing the room orientation, she yeah. can actually change this up. Yeah. Yeah. So that is it with, uh, with the closets. On to the other side. Put into this room before we had the bed in this position. Mm. Most uh, clients feel like 
they want the bed next to the window. Yeah. So when we came in, Tasha, Manuela, and I decided to first have like just around where we kept on moving items such that we could see what space we could get and how the kid can actually move it and use whatever items they need without kicking around and whatnot. So this is where we ended up having the mirror. Yeah. yeah. And this is such a very good position. When you're looking at the mirror, the light from the window hits you. Then we thought of having the bedside bed, uh, table next to the bedside. Like whatever, whatever she's doing, she can just do whatever she needs to do. Go to her bed, sit there, or she can just hang out here at her office. Yeah. Or she can just walk over to her desk without getting confused. So you can just look at the arrangement and so, place with your furniture. Mm. We are, we are really uh, looking at the function. Mm -hmm. When she walks in here, what does it? What does she do? Mm -hmm. What's her day like? When I come to my room, maybe I like hanging in my room, but I'm tired of hanging in my bed because that's why I sleep at night. Okay, kids, they ask questions. I don't want to be in the bed. I want to hang out in my room, but somewhere. So we, this was previously something that uh, they were using. It's a storage, yes. but we upholstered it and made it an ottoman. We just did the cover. We just did the cover and um, we, painted. we painted it to white. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then throw in some pillows. So this is her place for chilling. Yeah. A chilling spot, <laughs> which she loves. Then uh, over to the study desk. Yes. So these were also upholstered because they had a whole thingy. The were that I don't know if you guys have seen the kids' desks. They usually have a an extension mm -hmm. that has their things, but since now they are mid teens, we had to remove that mm -hmm. from. This whole situation because it was really cluttering the space. These are uh, organizers, just like you know, Emanuela is a queen of organization. Uh, we added these organizers to help them uh, uh, put their pens, pencils, colors, whatever else, notebooks, reading books inside here. Scrabble, scrabble, um, the scrabble pieces, yeah just to keep it well organized and uh, functional. Like if she's seated here on her study table on any normal day, she doesn't have to go through piles of things looking for a pen, mm -hmm. a pencil, uh, colored pens, um, crayons, whatever she wants. It's just right in front of her. She can easily yeah, find whatever she wants. Person, yeah. <laughs> so, so it's something that we have to keep in mind. Yeah. Then uh, the rest are just study tables. We put in, put in a few deco pieces mm -hmm. to make it, you know, look appealing. Don't you think it looks appealing? Yes. <laughs> then we have the, the, the floating shelves. I mean, mm -hmm. um, these. The reason why we have this. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. Bianca is not your normal girl. Yes. She, she's still a girly girl. Cause she loves pink and turquoise yes. and gold and the basketball. <laughs> and then she loves basketball. She's into basketball. So we had to throw in this to make sure that we are listening to her needs. She was so happy about this, happy. We threw in some plants cause plants are very important for our health. Mm -hmm. Especially just looking at them. If you have natural plants, perfect. Very beautiful for everyone. These are just uh, throw pillows, yeah. decor throw pillows. These are just used in styling, which we use. And um, also, mm. we did not really buy all the items in this space. Yeah. We kind of repurposed so many of the items exactly. that our client already had. Can we just show you our space where we we are hanging our things? Uh, Manuela wanted that separate. She wanted to have a space <laughs> where the kids would hang there. Thrones, their towels. Those yeah, are she was just tired of throwing them everywhere. Exactly. Yeah. So we have these mm -hmm. beautiful, beautiful butterfly wall hooks. Uh, they are metallic. Yes. They won't go down. We installed them, like drilled them into the wall, so they are firm. Yeah. The firm. The the towel won't fall. Everything is just put there and it will stay there and it keeps the room neat because it gives them a place everything has a place to be which is a good thing and that's how you manage kids really yeah. if they know where everything goes trust me you won't have these rooms like this 
laid bed, things are hanged, everything goes wherever it goes because they have a space for everything to go into. Mm, a very good yeah. method. So with a black strong, we still upholstered the bed mm. from a car. Yeah, it was a car. It was a car. Mm. <laughs> from a car to something mid teen. So we went with black. Yes. Because, like we said, Manuela with black and white. <laughs> so we went with black for Blake because we had done white for Bianca. So we went with black. Uh, changed the headboard. Mm -hmm. Yes, we changed uh, the headboard. Decided to reduce then, this uh, part. reduced this part because it was going up to here. So mm -hmm. we reduced this part so that it could also, it, it's easy to lay. He said that. Hey, it was I, I, I need to make my bed. Yeah. <laughs> On both ends. Mm -hmm. So we reduced this and um, also raised the mattress level so that yeah. it could be up. Yeah. Make it. <laughs> actually fun sleeper. Yeah. So my family loves games. We really said it love actually of games improve on that. Yeah. So we framed mm. all their games from Monopoly, Scrabble. There is another one, a chess we shall show you on the other side. And we reuse them as wall hangings. So they can take them down, mm -hmm. do their games mm -hmm. and put them back up. So it's also a How cool of storage. is that? Storage in the cool way. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Bianca. He can. He has all his clothes down here, color coordinated. Because really, if you're Manuela's kid, what do you have to do? And also, black likes color coding. Yeah. You see how black is on black? Yeah. <laughs> and then blue is on blue. Yeah, he has a grey towel for a grey and a white towel for a white. And we also wanted to keep it playful. Yeah. Playful, he's yeah. He's a kid. He's a so. kid, so that's why we had the blue going on, the grey, the yeah. J letter. Yeah, hooks. so these are wooden hooks, but they're all installed. Uh, we grill them in, so they're not going in Why You can adjust them, move them, yeah. Yes. So, yeah, that is it. Let's move to the... And for Blake, we don't have an Ottoman, and he has quite a variety of toys. He loves playing, he loves like games, so that's why you're seeing more games in this area. With it's the true. blues, the multicolors, so that's why we have cars. <laughs> he has a whole set so of football, soccer. <laughs> then he Boots. loves studying about the world. Hmm. We decided to get him a, a, a globe from Flip Avenue. Yeah, we have a cars storage for his other toy pieces. Then there's this children's books here. Tasha really loves the books and she wants everyone to know. Eh? Yeah, these kids read. <laughs> but it's a good thing to read. Also, yeah? Very brilliant boy. Scripture yeah. memorization. Black Mulondo. So we wanted to just showcase this, you know, so that he can be proud of his achievements. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So to the other shelf. Now, this is also another piece that was repurposed for the games. We just framed this. Still can be taken down use it and then put it back yes. um i think that's the one of the i think that's one of their favorite scriptures we did this and when we also did one for blake mm -hmm. bianca. Because, uh, for bianca sorry for bianca because yeah it's such a nice <laughs> verse for a child then we have some plants these we got from pretty perfect yeah, yeah we shall be tagging and probably in the post some yeah, of the people we got things items, from yes yeah uh then these are games this is a puzzle, oh, yeah, a puzzle. This, this is a family that loves games so yes yeah then the bees you saw a bee in bianca's room that was black yes we went with black for bianca and white for blake so we have um, a little bit of similarity, but there's also a difference, yeah. if you've noticed by now. Yeah, exactly. That they're, they're a bit the same, mm -hmm. but also different, which mm -hmm. is said. So uh, for the study tables, we went for something very simple. This is a piece also from uh, Flip Avenue. We have a uh, kids, uh, Flip Kids Deco and More. We have kids deco for rooms and all. Blake loves astronauts. astronauts. So we went Even with his bed. <laughs> The little <laughs> man that can be used as a, a pencil holder 
then we have this the dresser yeah it has simple things tissue for cleaning like you know manuela the kids have to be clean yes. this is for their cleaning their nostrils and all whatever flu mm -hmm. then we just have simple things vaseline <laughs> his a uh, small pocket size speaker speaker his remote for his remote car you are loved to the moon and back if you know what i mean yeah. to the moon and back <laughs> <laughs> is our dresser yeah so we're just going to take you along to just show you still organized shards ah uh, these are sweaters T-shirts, trousers, color coordinated. As we made sure to put dividers. Yeah, so we made these dividers were added by us. Yeah, yeah. When we were putting the yeah, runners. but we only did only one because our client, our client can repurpose the rest for different storage things. Yeah, so these were just added. She already had these. She already had these, so we just added these socks, extra shirts. Just like a boy, he does not have so much. This is just his travel pillow and his swimming glasses. Yeah, and that is it. Yeah, thank you for coming along with us. See you. Are you ready to see your room? <laughs> what do you think? What do you like about it? Do you want to go around and have a look at everything? Which one is this one for? That's a humidifier and a light, and it can change. Ooh. Yeah, and it can change. It's a mood light. Mm. Mm hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. We got you some cars. <laughs> Does this one really work? Wow, Blake, wow, seriously? How you doing? Seriously? You know, this was a present for you from Uncle Jovan. Then that music works. Yes, it does. <laughs> uh, Have you seen your chess game? Yeah, yes. Where is Uganda? Right over here. Ta da! Well done. Have you seen your football guys also? Yes. <laughs> your eyes so very fast. Mm -hmm. Why are you seeing so fast? Do you need help? Okay. You want to continue to walk around the room? This one is a watch for that. Yes. Oh. You're loved to the moon <laughs> and back. Because you know you're loved? Yes. Yeah. Like every child. Like every child. Yeah. True. Thank you, Mommy. You're welcome. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. You like it? Yes. Okay, is that a real plan? It's your initial. Which one? This one? Yes. It's fake. Oh, you want to see? It? My trophy. I yes. remember. Your trophy. I should not. I don't know. It's just like um, Man City. Since I support Man City, uh -huh. Haaland oh, does that move. Oh, Haaland. You don't even know you are just fake. But I stopped supporting it. You but it's on, second, Man City. it's on second place. Right now, it's in second place. Okay, cool. I love I love you. <laughs> yes. What has excited you? What? Good for me, bro. 
Butter, butterfly hangers. Yes. Oh, uh, thank you. You're welcome, and they're gold. Okay. Yes. You know, I would like them. I'll just come like this. I'm done showering. Come on. I don't come away. <laughs> Hey, Bianca, you're so dramatic. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. What's your favorite part? Mommy, you know. Uh, that one and is your favorite part. It's a new basketball. Yeah. But, uh-huh. I hope you yes. can do it. What do you mean? Mommy, yeah. I'm a basketball, I'm tall. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mommy, wait. Mommy, give me a hug. Why? <laughs> nice. I know it's already nice. You know it's already nice. Wait, wait, mommy. Hmm. Where are my colors? Nice. It's good you asked. <laughs> it's so organized now. Me and Blake and play Scrabble. Yes. Your Scrabble pieces are also here. This is my first, but third name. Mulondo. Yeah. That's an initial, that's called an initial. Yeah. So all of this stuff, all your pens, everything is in here. And you have to make sure that you stay organized, Bianca. Just say what? Organized. Okay. Then... Yeah, those are your chess your books. Learning chess manual, okay. Yeah, I need to beat Blake one day. So I'm going to read that book. To beat Blake in chess. Blake has always beat me. He yeah. always gets my queen. Because he's really good at it. First he gets my queen. Mm. To make sure I have no side to go. Oh dear. So I have nowhere to protect my king. No. Is there anywhere? Anywhere more? No. But we can go and see Blake's room now. Yes. And thank you so much, Natasha. Thank you so much, Joanna. Thank you so much for making this a beautiful space. I know there's a lot that we need to add on. Yes. Uh, but it's because of the limited budget. <laughs> but I promise that Stop as saying. the money comes in, mm -hmm. it was limited. It, it was, was limited. A, it was a sufficient budget. Sufficient mm -hmm. for that for the what time. <laughs> So as we continue, there's some other things that we want to keep adding on. Um, yeah. So I'll keep you know, I'll kind of be updating you guys. Um, they've opened up a shop. <laughs> because you guys, we realized in Uganda that decor for children, like those nice, cute little decor pieces that you guys have seen, are not available on the market. Mm. And when they saw that, they said, well, we're problem solvers. <laughs> we're yes. going to solve this problem. Okay. So yes. if you're a mom out there, you want to do something with your child's room, I'm telling you, go mm -hmm. to Flip Avenue LTD yes. for limited yes. dot com. Okay, yes. so Flip Avenue LTD dot com. Yes. And look at all the variety. And I have seen this stuff. Mm hmm. <laughs> I wanted my hand on everything. I wanted everything and then they would just be like, but Manuela, please. First of all, your budget. Secondly, you have only one room. Mm -hmm. So uh -huh, you'll decorate the same one room how many times? So anywho, mm -hmm. <laughs> that is what you need to get to. Right now, just go to flipavenueltd.com yes. and enjoy the variety and the possibilities that can happen in your children's rooms. Until next time, bye-bye.